Hi, I'm Layo Adegoke. Here's your channel's TV news update for December the 4th, 2020. The trial of the former chairman of the defunct Pension Reform Task Team, PRTT, Abdurashid Mayna, has resumed in Abuja. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, ensured Mayna was in the court, having been extradited to Nigeria from the Niger Republic by the Interpol. Mr. Mayna, who jumped bail before his rearrest in Niamey, Niger, is standing trial for alleged money laundering to the tune of 2 billion naira. A federal high court in Abuja has fixed March 3, 2021 for the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to fully comply with its order in the trial of former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Desiani Alison Madweke. Justice Ijioma Ujuku fixed the date on Thursday after counsel to the EFCC Farouk Abdullah asked the court for more time to enable the anti-graft agency to ensure full compliance with the court orders. Governor Babajide Somolu of Lagos State has presented 10 million naira each to the wives of six officers killed during the aftermath of the end SARS protests. Somolu's gesture was in fulfillment of his earlier promise during a meeting with police officers at the State Police Command. On the international scene, U.S. President-elect Joe Biden has said he will ask Americans to wear masks for his first 100 days in office to contain the spread of coronavirus. This comes as the U.S. has recorded 14.1 million cases and 276,000 deaths from COVID-19, the highest of any country in the world. And in sports, Arsenal coach Mikel Ateta has hailed the special return of 2,000 fans for their Europa League win against Rapid Vienna. It has been nine months since fans have graced the stands of the Emirates. But after a recent lifting of England's second national lockdown, a small number of fans were allowed back into the stadium. And that's the news updates. Don't forget to join us later for the recap. I'm Layo Adegoki. Thank you for watching.